Welcome to the next walking stick. We have a, uh, a special request, a commission piece. Um, a lot of wood burning. Uh, Going to do a little bit of carving, but mostly wood burning on this one. Uh, so that's why I chose a super lightweight cedar. I mean, I don't even think this weighs pound, pound and a half total. So if you see, it's got uh, a few checks in it. We'll be filling that in with some epoxy just to add a little splash of color. We're going to have to clean up all the bark. See the nice color underneath, but as it is cedar, it's going to look beautiful when we have oil on it. So that's going to look great. So stay tuned. Let's turn this into a nice piece for the client. So we've mixed up our two-part epoxy with a little bit of red tint. That's what we got here. And now that it's well mixed, we're going to be slowly filling in the check. This is going to take a while, but It'll add a nice, nice bit of color. And it'll harden up the, uh, this check. It'll stiffen it all up and there won't be any, any issues structurally with the stick. So let me keep filling it in and I'll show you what it is at the end. So we used up almost all of it. Just waiting for some bubbles to pop. And then three days to dry, so stay tuned.
So we're just about on to uh, finishing stage. Client wanted a lot of uh, a lot of symbolism in this one. So we have the uh, National Hot Rod Association symbol there. We uh, carved that in with a little dot pattern in the back. Made a little lanyard loop right by the handle. You see how we tapered it all down. Look at that beautiful grain on that cedar. Uh, we have uh, initials and birthday. We have little hearts. Uh, I think kids' initials. We have wood burned. Uh, not only the name, but also a little leaf and vine pattern. Made a little golf symbol, golf bag, and some clubs. A little more dot pattern to tie, let's say, top and bottom together. And then taper it all the way down to, this one's actually going to be a, a 7 8 uh, foot. We want to keep the cedar a little bit thicker, uh, just because it's a little bit softer wood. But handle still fits very nicely here. Put a stone on top. Uh, if you remember here, we put the red. It's not showing up as red. We're going to see when we put the oil on. Uh, did the red epoxy. Then a, a little reddish stone on top. That's going to be nice when we uh, put the oil. And uh, I think we're going to do a polyurethane on it. So I think that's where we're at right now. We're going to do a little Watco Teak Oil. Standard... Uh, Standard finish, I think this wood's going to pop nicely, a nice dark brown. And uh, that's what's up next, so let's gather all the things and go to finishing. So a little teak oil in a cup. Put some on an old t-shirt. Our standard way of doing it. Luckily, a lot of old t-shirts. Let's see how this turns out. I think, like I said, it's going to be a nice dark brown. And I'm not wrong. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous grain. What a finish. Made everything pop. Yeah, as we got more to the center of the wood, the more brown it is. So on these high spots, you see here a little bit lighter but the center parts nice and dark so let's finish up everything and I'll show you how it is at the end so we're moving on to the lanyard so just a straight piece of paracord a little bit longer than the handle which is up here I'm gonna take it over the left hand over and behind so you see this side is loose in a loop taking this left side you go in the back and through the loop and then you just place that knot where you need tighten it up and then repeat so you take your left side over cross in the back this one comes underneath and through and then move that knot towards the other one might take a little bit of maneuvering And you could repeat this knot as many times as you want. Let me try and get a up close view. You could do it several times. I have it here on my Swiss Army knife. You see it makes a nice little, I think it's called a snake knot. Because as it loops around. So it's a nice little way to, uh, to finish off. A lanyard or any any type of little paracord that you have so I'm gonna see if I can get one more out of this and uh, that should lock up then for the handle you pass through and uh, it's a nice little decorative bead at the end 